Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing some binder organization tips and how to keep your binder organized after you originally organize it. Before I start the video, if you want to see more videos like this or more study videos in general, make sure to subscribe to my channel with post notifications. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. We're going to start off with how you can organize your binder. The first way you can organize your binder is to avoid using folders, pockets, or any type of divider with a built-in folder. Having a folder encourages you to shove random papers into it, which makes your binder disorganized because you don't know what paper is where and which subject is where. As you can see in my binder, I have sheet protectors as dividers in my binder, and the only thing that I have in them is a colored sticky note, which is kind of glued or taped in, to signify each subject and a paper from the beginning of the year that was never used after the first day of school but might be used in the future. The next way you can organize your binder is to divide it into classes or subjects. If you have different classes every day, you can divide it into the type of classes you have. For me, since I have different core classes each day, I organize my binder to only have the subjects for that day. By having two binders and organizing them by each class, I have much less to carry every day, lowering the weight of my backpack. Going along with this, the third thing you can do is to put things in order by the date you received them or the date you wrote or made them. If I received something on January 11th, I would put it after something I received on January 10th. This way, I can easily flip through the pages and find whatever I have to without any struggle. Before I did this, I used to put my papers at the front of my binder, but after doing that, I found out that it was really hard to find my papers. Next, I'll share a few tips for how you can keep your binder organized. A way to keep your binder organized is to only keep the stuff for the current or most recent unit or chapter inside. This way, you won't be bothered by past notes that won't really contribute to what you're learning. This method is not for everyone, especially if the class has a constant reviewing of your notes, but I, however, use this method and it's really benefited me because it makes it way easier to locate things and lowers the weight of my backpack, which is very important if you don't want back pain. What I do with the notes that aren't currently in my binder is that I put them into another binder that is much bigger. I store them into the exact same categories except instead of multiple binders, there's just one binder. This way, it's easy to find stuff for every class, and if I remember the specific grade I learned it in, I can go back and check. Finally, at the end of each month, make sure to check that your binders are still organized. When doing this, check for ripped or loose papers, random unrelated papers, or anything else that can make your binder unorganized. By doing this, you can keep your binder like it was when you originally organized it. However, if you don't want to do this periodically, you can always just make sure everything is organized when you put it into the binder and fix any ripped pages or things like that while flipping through the binder to get your notes. Thank you for watching all the way through the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. We're pretty close to 250 subscribers now and I hope to get to 400 subscribers this year. I know it's a pretty crazy goal, but I think we can do it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!